I am your host, Michael Yerby. It's another lovely day in Shreveport, Louisiana. We are five hours away from New Orleans, three hours away from Dallas, and I'm just one minute from getting in your butt if you haven't gotten up to start your day. Welcome to the Breakfast Boost. Good morning, Boost Buddies. It's Michael Yerby, your host, welcoming you to another energizing episode of the Breakfast Boost. Today, we're diving into something that can change your day's course, healthy morning habits. But first, let me share a little breakfast humor with you. Why did the cereal go to therapy? It felt a little bowled over by daily crunches. I know, I know, that's shameless dad jokes, right? Let's kickstart your day. Now, let's get serious, but not too serious. Today, we're not just talking about habits. We're talking about choices. The choices that make each morning are like the first pancake on the stove. They set the tone for everything that follows. So whether you're tuning in from Spotify, Apple, YouTube, or anywhere else, you're listening to my show, Let's Make This Day Count. In this episode, we explore why mornings is such a pivotal time for your physical and mental well-being and how simple habits can lead to big changes. We're covering everything from a quick stretch to jotting down your gratitude. And don't forget, we got a unique challenge for you at the end. The 555 Morning Boost. Trust me, you wouldn't want to miss it. So grab your favorite breakfast drink, get comfy, and let's boost our mornings in the best way possible. Here we go. Hey there, Boosters. It's Michael back with our Wake Up Wisdom segment. You know, each morning is like opening a brand new book with pages waiting to be written. Today's thought to kickstart your day goes like this. The morning is the foundation upon which the day is built. Care for it as you would the foundation of your home. I love this quote, even though we don't even know where it really said it or where it came from. It's like the secret recipe passed down through the generations of successful people. Now think about your home. If the foundation isn't strong, the whole building wobbles, right? The same goes with our day. How we start our mornings can make or break the rest of the day. If you begin with the rush, skipping breakfast, or ignoring your well-being, it's like trying to run a marathon with a sprained ankle. Not fun and definitely not practical. So why not make your morning a time to set a solid groundwork? A few minutes of stretching, a healthy breakfast, maybe a moment to jot down something you're grateful for, these are like bricks strengthening your day's foundation. And remember, it's not about doing everything perfect. It's about the small choices that add up. Picture this. You choose water over soda, fruit over a donut, a moment of quiet over scrolling through your phone first thing. Small choices, big impact. I want to hear from you guys. What is one morning habit that has made a difference in your day? Share your stories with us on Instagram, Facebook, or wherever you love to hang out online. Use the hashtag Morning Boost Habit and let's inspire each other. Remember, it's the little things in the morning that build the stage for the rest of your day. Let's make it strong. Let's make it positive. Stay tuned because we're diving deep into the world of morning habits next. We have some cool tips and real life stories that will give you that strength, that extra boost. So fill that coffee, that tea, and let's get ready to transform our mornings together. Welcome back, Breakfast Boosters. This is Michael Yerby, your host, and you're listening to the heart of today's episode. While we dive deep into the power of morning habits, we're talking about little things that you can do after waking up that can shape your whole day. Let's break it down. Why morning habits? First off, why are we even talking about morning habits, right? Well, think of your morning like a starting line of a race. How you start can really set the tone of how you run the rest of it. A calm, positive morning can lead to a calm, productive day. But a rush, chaotic morning, you get the picture. Physical health habits. Now, onto physical health. Ever wake up feeling like a dried out sponge? That's because your body's been fasting and losing water all night. So tip number one, drink a glass of water first thing. 
It's giving your body a mini wake-up splash. Next, breakfast. It's not just any meal. It's the meal that breaks your overnight fast. A balanced breakfast, thick fruits, grains, and protein fuels your body and brain for the day ahead. And let's not forget about moving your body. You don't have to run a marathon each morning. Just some simple stretches or a quick walk can get the blood flowing and wake your muscles up. Mental health habits, mental health in the morning to me is the single most important thing you can do. Ever try mindfulness or meditation? Even just a few minutes can clear your mind like a peaceful breeze and positive affirmation. They're like your own cheerleading squad, boosting your daily confidence. Productivity habits. Productivity is all about focus. Start your day by setting clear goals. What are the top three things you need to do today? Write them down and try to keep distractions at bay. A clutter-free space equals a clutter-free mind. Examples and case studies I have. I got some stories of folks that just like you who turned their mornings around and saw a massive change, like Sarah who started meditating each morning and found her stress levels dropping, or Mark who began planning out his day in the morning and became more productive at work. So what is the takeaways here? Your mornings are precious. It's the foundation of your day. And with just a few simple habits, you can build a healthy, happy, and productive day. I want to challenge you all to try one morning habit this week. Share your experience with us on social media using the hashtag Breakfast Boost Habit. Let's make our mornings and our days the best they can be. Stay tuned as we jump into our next segment, The Boost of the Day. You're not going to want to miss this one. All right, everyone, it's Michael here, and we're at my favorite part of the show, The Boost of the Day. This is where we give you quick, actionable tips and supercharge your morning. Today is all about the 555 morning boost. And it's simple and easy, and trust me, it will make a big difference. So, what is this 555 all about? Let's break it down. First five movement. Spend the first five minutes of your morning moving your body. No, I'm not just talking about heavy workouts, just some simple stretches, maybe a few yoga poses, or a quick walk around your living room. It's like saying good morning to your muscles and getting that blood flowing. Second five, gratitude. Next, take five minutes to write down the things you are grateful for. These could be big things like your family or little things like the first sip of coffee. This isn't just about feeling good or good stuff. It's about setting a positive tone for your day. And it's like planting little seeds of happiness in your mind. Third five, planning. Finally, spend the last five minutes planning your day. What are your top three things you need to get done? Jot them down. This isn't about overwhelming yourself with a to-do list, but about focusing on what really matters. Think of this as setting your personal GPS for the day. That's the 555 morning boost. Simple, right? But it's super effective. I challenge you to try this for just one week. And hey, let's make this fun. Share your 555 journey on social media using the hashtag BreakfastBoost555. I'll be looking out for your post on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And who knows, your story might inspire someone else to kickstart their morning in a healthy way. Remember, it's these small steps, these little boosts that can transform our days and ultimately our lives. All right, boosters, that wraps up our boost of the day. Stay tuned because we got a great wrap up coming up, summarizing everything we talked about today. You don't want to miss it. Hey, Boosters, we're at the end of another fantastic episode here at The Breakfast Boost. I am your host, Michael Yerby, and it's been an absolute pleasure sharing this morning's journey with you all. Let's do a quick recap of what we covered today. We kick things off understanding why our morning habits are like the foundation of a building. They hold up the rest of our day. Remember, it's the small choices you make each morning that can really set the tone of how you feel and what you achieve. We talked about hydrating your body, eating a balanced breakfast, 
and getting in some light exercise to wake up your body and mind. We also touched on the power of mindfulness and planning your day to keep your mental and productivity game strong. And let's not forget about the 555 Morning Boost Challenge. Five minutes of movement, five minutes of gratitude, and five minutes of planning. Simple yet powerful. I'm so excited to see how this little change can bring a big difference to your days. Do not forget to share your experience in using Breakfast Boost 555 on your favorite social media platform. Next week, we'll dive into the world of intentions again, but with the twist. We're going to explore how to turn those intentions into real actions. It's going to be a game changer, so make sure you tune in. If you found today's episode helpful, subscribe, rate, and share it with your friends and family. Your support means the world to us. And join our Discord and WhatsApp communities for daily tips and updates. Also, we're on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, ready to engage with you all. That's it for today. Keep boosting your mornings and in turn, your life. Thanks for listening, and I'll catch you on the next episode of The Breakfast Boost. You have a fantastic day ahead. And that wraps up today's episode, folks. It's Michael Yerby here, thanking you for joining us on The Breakfast Boost. We dove deep into healthy morning habits today, and I hope you walk away with some great ideas to start your day right. If you enjoyed this episode and found it useful, please follow us on Spotify or wherever you listen to a podcast. Leave us a rating and share this podcast with your friends and family. Who knows, they might think you are actually a good person if you do it. Your support helps us grow and keep this community thriving. Don't forget to join our Discord and WhatsApp community for your daily dose of motivation and tips. We're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, you name it, we're there. Join the conversation and let's keep boosting our mornings together. Next week, we'll be talking about turning our intentions into actions and a topic you definitely wouldn't want to miss. So stay tuned. Until then, here's to making every morning count. This is Michael Yerby signing off. Have a fantastic day and a better week. And keep spreading those positive vibes.